we're gonna be talking about two of the best stretches to do if you are a runner. These are stretches that I do every time I run and they will help keep you injury free and feeling your best. Now, the, these stretches are gonna be basically for the hip and the knee, the two most common areas that we see that are issues with our runners. Now, feet come in to play as a third issue, but we're gonna be talking mostly about the hip and the knee. Hi, my name is Stephanie. I'm with Empower Physical Therapy, and we help clients avoid surgery, injections, and medications while getting their life back. We give hope to people when they've lost hope that there's nothing that they can do because they've had so many failed treatments. If you like this information and you like what we're putting out, make sure you subscribe to our channel. So these two stretches that we're gonna be talking about are really great. And so the first one I'm gonna show you, it's, it's going to be addressing the hip um, mostly. So it, what I love about it is not only is it gonna help with like elongating some of the muscles that typically get tight in the front part of our leg that also um, attach down by the knee, but it also stretches our joints. Um, it also is more of like a myofascial stretch because we're gonna be stretching across two joints. So you're gonna get this big myofascial stretch. So it really does like three things into one, um, which is why I love this stretch. Now, a lot of times we get issues within like our hip joint, which gives us problems is because what do we do all day long? We sit in front of a computer or we're running. And so as we're running, that, that hip is always going into hip um, flexion. And a lot of times we've got to take our joints in the opposite direction to really keep the joint fluid and feeling really good. So that's going to be the first stretch that we're going to do. And that'll really help with the front part of that hip as well as the knee. Um, let me show you that one and then we'll go into the next one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a little strap because we're gonna put this strap around our foot. And then what we're gonna do is you're gonna be like in a kneeling position. So a lot of times, you know, when people do the stretch in the front of the leg, they want you to kind of tuck and then lean forward and you're gonna get a good stretch through here. This is gonna be very similar, but you're gonna get the joint involved as well as getting multiple joints involved by, by stretching the front part of the hip and that, that back part of the knee. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lean forward as far as you can go so we can really stretch this hip. You're not gonna look like me, I'm, I'm pretty flexible, but you may, go, you, you may go like this this far. Just, you're just gonna take it to go in as far as you possibly can. Here's where the strap comes into play. You're gonna pull this up. So keep this hip forward as you pull it up. This is gonna really get that whole front hip flexor, so as um, quad all the way down into that knee. Now what I like to do too is I like moving my body where I can rotate that body and that's gonna stretch the joint but it's also gonna hit different parts of the muscle of your quad, um, which is fantastic. So you just pull it up so you feel a really good stretch. You can rotate this direction to the outside, hold it, rotate to the inside, hold it, and you're gonna really feel different parts of that leg as well as different parts of that joint to really open it up. A lot of times, you know, what happens when we even sit is we tend to sit with our legs kind of hanging out and a little bit of external rotation and they kind of can get locked up. So when you add this stretch going into extension, adding a little bit of the rotation, it's gonna unlock that hip joint. So that's my first favorite stretch that I do all the time. And I do this on both sides. You may notice one side may be tighter than the other side. That's okay, the one that's tighter, you may wanna spend a little bit more time on that. Now, the next stretch is a great one. This is when people get, they can get pain in their hip, but they also can get pain into the outside part of that knee, which is really, really common. And this is like my favorite IT band stretch because when you stretch the IT band, a lot of times people wanna do it where their legs are across and they're stretching this way. This will stretch multiple joints um, at the same time, which is what I love. So you'll again, get that myofascial stretch and you're gonna feel this from your hip all the way down your knee. Wherever you're actually tight in that area is where you're gonna feel it. So everyone feels it a little bit different. I have a lot of issues down a little bit lower on the outside of my knee, and that's where I originally used to feel this. I don't feel it there as much anymore because I do the stretch all the time because it makes my knees feel so much better. T typically with that IT band, we tend to use that as runners because we might have some weakness in our hips 
um, then allows us to use that IT band that crosses the hip joint and the knee joint. And so you use that as stability and it can kind of tighten up there a little bit. So this is the best stretch. It's a yoga stretch. And so let me get the strap off my foot. Um, best stretch that I've been able to do um, for this. Love it. So you'll get next to kind of a table. And what you're going to want to do is the stretch, the leg that you want to stretch is going to be close to the table, close to something that you can kind of hold on to. You're going to bring your legs um, like this. So you're going to have it kind of staggered like this. The leg that is in front is going to be closest to the table because that's going to help us with balance so that we don't feel like we're using balance. We can actually go into the stretch a little bit farther and not use those muscles for the balance. They can kind of relax. Then what you're going to do is you're going to keep, you keep the back straight. So we're not like rounding the back. You keep it straight and you lean forward until you get a good stretch in that hamstring on that front leg. Then what you're going to do is you're going to rotate towards the table. And when you do that, you can push that knee back to make sure that it's completely straight. If that knee's bent, you're not going to feel a stretch. And it will, it will want to bend because you're going to be so tight. So you may not be able to move that far into it. Um, so you may just start here and you may only be able to do this and just kind of put some pressure on the knee. As you get more flexible, what you're going to do is you're going to go farther and farther and farther down the leg. So I can come here and go farther and farther and farther down the leg as I rotate. You can also put more weight on the front part of that leg. That's another way that you can make that stretch a little bit more aggressive. So those are ways that you can make it aggressive and those are ways that you can, can tighten it up. Now everyone's gonna feel this a little bit differently. Some people again will feel it in their hip other people will feel it down their leg. Some people will feel it in their knee. But it is the best stretch for people that run because that typically those are the areas that, that, that tend to get tight. So do those stretches. You're going to want to hold them maybe for like a minute, um, a couple minutes. You know, maybe you have to start out with 30 seconds. Depends on how like tight you are and how long you can kind of tolerate it. If you do it for 30 seconds, do it maybe three times. If you do it for a minute, maybe do it a couple times, but get them, definitely get them in um, regularly until you feel comfortable doing them. And then, then you want to keep the, doing them after you run. So like after I finish my runs, these are common stretches that I will do. Or after I do a workout, these are common stretches that I'll do because my body's really warmed up. I'll be able to go farther into that stretch to keep everything a lot more flexible. It also will help with some soreness. If you have some soreness from doing whatever activity that you're doing, it will kind of help um, get rid of some of that soreness as well. So those two exercises, um, give them a try and let me know what you think about them in the comment section. We'll have extra videos and different things in, in our comments in the description to give you just more education on a lot of different topics on hip stuff that, that we do um, and give to our clients regularly.